Hello, this is Steve. I'm showing you my cat and this ABS knife. ABS is a very long uh, acronym for plastic, so we'll just say plastic knife. Uh, it's pretty rigid. Cold Steel sells um, a lot of these types of knives that are better quality. This was just a, something I picked up, you know, three for five dollars at a flea market. This particular one uh, was broken on the tip and he just threw it in for free. But you know what? Uh, these are very hard to sharpen. So just FYI to you for that. But I wanted to see how really, you know, good they would be at, at self-defense or, you know, whatever. So I got some a pumpkin here that I need to get rid of. And uh, just for S and G's here, we're going to see how easily and how quick, excuse me, See how easily and how quick this, okay, I'm going to have to do this, thank you very much, uh, would penetrate, and as you can see, quite well. So, you know, uh, it's not breaking, and again, this is not even as sharp as, as the other ones that I have. So, I do not think this would, this pumpkin would be comparable to, you know, a skull or anything, but I have to think it would be... Uh, comparable to, uh, you know, maybe a gut. So, it has serrated edges on it here, edges, and uh, I don't, you know, don't know if they're worth much. Uh, they don't seem to be cutting a lot, but interesting. Uh, for me, as hopefully you, well as you, the fact that it, you know, easily penetrates. All right, while we're at it, Yes, yeah, so you're going to have to leave on this one, girl. This is the uh, K-Bar Combat Kukri. And I've been running it through a lot of different tests uh, to see, you know, its capabilities. Obviously, I can't use it or won't use it, in, and gratefully so, in combat. Um, I put a patina on this, taken off the black coating and put a, my own patina on it. Patinas help. Uh, protect the blade and in a way of explanation uh, it's like a it's like you put on a white rust instead of a, a very uh, a red rust and red rust destroying and a white rust uh, creates a coating uh, that the red rust can't get a grip on okay that's it you don't have leaves sweetie okay that's pretty cool and I didn't even put my full force into it um, almost went all the way through I didn't want to go all the way through because I don't want to cut the cut the table uh, so, one of the neat things about this combat kukri, unlike some kukris, uh, it's got this uh, right here that stops your fingers from going on to the blade and potentially cutting yourself with this guard here. So, that being the case, if, if this was not here, I, I would not want to stab because if I did stab, you know, I could conceivably uh, run my hand up there. Now, Traditional kukris, which is the style of blade, this is the style of, of blade is a kukri. It's got that sweep here and, you know, bend right here. This is 1095 steel, by the way, which is a good steel, and, uh, and rubber handle. So let me, uh, you know, get away from all that because that's in other videos and you can read it if you'd like. Or, I mean, watch them if you'd like. So let's stab this thing and, and see how well we do. It's just a forward thrust. Let me try it again. My fault. And uh, my hand did not go forward at all. And as you can see, it went in fairly deep. There we go. Hey, Bruce in the pudding, eh? One more time with just a forward thrust. Again, my, my hand did not slip at all because it was firmly uh, placed against the guard. And uh, let's just do one more for good measure. And again, I'll, I'll just do it lightly. I won't do it with full force. Uh, you know, that's pretty good. Credit where credit's due there. All right. This is the last one we're going to check out on this pumpkin. This is a uh, Eco Parang. It's something that's been on my list for a long time, and I got it uh, recently, and it's just been sitting in the shed, and, and uh, I'll be using it more as, as winter comes on. 
I've went ahead and put some uh, rubber tape up here um, so that I could grab a hold of it easier. This area was not blade anyway. Uh, it was um, just uh, it was not sharpened steel, so you could grip it. But now I can also by feel, you know, know it's there. And as you can see, the handle's also got a little guard there for your hand. So let's give this pumpkin a few whacks and maybe destroy it. Oh yeah. Let's go from the other side and cut the top off. Well, we did that. I'm doing this outside here in the back, uh, what we call the bowl down here, which is where we have a campfire and stuff in our backyard, and that way the squirrels can get some of these seeds. All right. This doesn't play, I can tell you that right now. Essie, woo! Want some of that? Stab it forward. Bring it back up here. Don't want to cut through all the way to the table here. Do want to chop it up. So I am not in any way, shape, or form giving this any full thrusts. And uh it's interesting for me to note that even though this this does not have like a stiletto handle or, or a spearhead or anything or a blade spearhead or anything, uh, this still really just sinks in. So okay, pretty much decimated this, and uh, we'll let squirrels have the rest of that. So the eco parang by a Condor made in El Salvador.